All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 24 for today. And last episode, we got Grand Champion 1, Division 1 for 2v2. We're still quite a ways away in standard 3v3, but hopefully we get our rank up into champ 2. But before we get into the games, we have to do the meme of the day. And today we have Voldemort with Petals. We've done Petals before, as you can see here, but this one is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. He definitely looks terrified. All right, game number one, we got Marsh with I Have a Problem and Infinity Lord. So they are partied up which does make a difference, as we've talked about before. So I should be able to get this boost here by re rushing to it. Let's see what they do with this rush here. Let's see, it looks like he wants to stay on the ball. So I'm trying to, trying to force a 50. This guy's definitely going to be low. So maybe I can chase him or bump him or something. I have a shot opportunity. Definitely would have been good for Marsh to leave that ball for me. You can see I have a better angle there. Let's let him get back and try to get in his way. I like the bump. Pop it up. Now I should stay on this ball. Good turn from Infinity. Or I have a problem. No, it's Infinity. Okay, it's also good to like. When, oh wow, what a touch! It's also important when you um, when you're looking around, keep an eye on which name is which, uh, just so you know like which player is getting what boost. You see here, I got a fake, which let us get a decent uh, position on the ball. But yeah, knowing where players are and stuff and what they're doing, you see even my positioning there made I have a problem move away. I'm waiting for Marsh to go for this ball here. They don't have great control, so he should be able to cut this off. There we go. Now I have the ball for free. This guy's trying to rush up and sort of force me off the ball. If he does here, I'm just going to try and force him or something. Good fakes. Try to bump him a little bit. Should we march the challenge? Big flicks. Just trying to watch the ball off the backboard. This should be a finish here. So it's really scary as the player with Infinity going there. Um, he really should be watching out for me positioning off of that bounce. We have one player trying to read the backboard uh, like flick, which was very high, high. So it's really difficult to follow that. So I kind of expected that Marsh would have a problem with that touch. Right here I have position on the ball. I'm just going to go for a flick. And we have a goal. Um, so far I haven't really done too much. Just like try to read the ball off of certain positions. The uh, player Infinity uh, did not cheat up close enough. And so I had possession. And it's important to get that flick pretty early before they turn to challenge. The second you see their car sideways, they're in the most vulnerable position. So bouncing over to the side is perfectly fine. My teammate's ready to clear it. I'm gonna try and push him on this ball. Hit this hard off the backboard, see if they can go for it. And smartly, uh, Marsh backs off. That's the kind of position that the opponents were in before. Um, and they ended up going for it instead of waiting patiently. I have space on this ball to try and hopefully make him force a 50. Really smart of I have a problem not to actually force himself into the ball and flip. Something you can do to really give yourself possession, give yourself time. Great shot from Marsh, though. So my teammate wants it. I'm gonna wait. I have a problem, has the ball. This is a good chance for him, but he has, needs to move the, uh, the pace a little bit faster because now my teammate got back in time. Good boost steal from them. Big flicks. Gonna be, I have a problem. I'm going to grab the boost. It does pop it forward, but my teammate's ready for it. Good save. You see, no one's on me here, but I'm going to pop this off the backboard and try to follow it. I could have maybe controlled that because no one was pushing up, but not the worst choice. Decent pop. Now, Marsh is going to try and look for that boost steal. He does get it. Pops out mid, which I can probably get ready for. The bad touch. And we just shoot the open net. So a lot of panics from the uh, the orange team so far. Like, I have a lot of space in this ball. I have a problem really didn't need to rush this because I'm waiting in mid. And that's the kind of thing that patience can really pay off when you're just... The opponents can't see what you're doing. If they're looking up at the ball like that, they're going to be looking at the ball and not you. So you got to be careful with like trying to rush things you don't need to. Because in those positions, like their camera is not going to be looking at uh, you. So you can go wherever you'd like to be as comfortable as possible and make them as uncomfortable as possible. So I'm going to push up on this ball. It looks like Infinity might be pretty low. So I'm going to try and challenge him here. And you see, too, I recovered pretty fast by going backwards on the wall there. Let's across the net. Could be a good chance. Now they're hungry for a goal, so I know they're going to rush that. It's important to also remember when you... Uh, when you're up certain goals, people are going to play a little bit differently. When you're down certain goals, you're going to play differently. So, oh, wow, that went in. Uh, let's say great pass. That was a great pass. I didn't think that was going to go in. Looks like they had it, but good good play to put that across and give me space on the ball. You see, I can wrap around it as well and get the shot. But I thought Infinity Lord had that ball. But anyway, playing those positions, uh, it things change as the game goes on. This game is very much like a butterfly effect game where like the chaotic structure of the kickoff changes everything. Because there's only like a set of like, you know, five different spawns 
And out of those spawns, it's a certain combination of players spawning. So those starting positions are all there is to start off a kickoff. And then every single 50-50, the little micro movements you make change up how everything happens in this game. It, it, at the end of the day, at the highest level, like I feel like everything's almost like um, not like predetermined, but it kind of feels that way. You know what I mean? Like where after the kickoff in pro play, like everything kind of happens for a reason. All the pro players are playing to their best, abil best of their ability. So the more randomness you can put into your gameplay, the better too. And we are kind of running away with this game, but I feel like um, my teammates actually played really well. He's given me three assists, pretty easy goals. I do have six, uh, like we do have six goals as a team, but um, that's a great shot. Um, but I don't feel like we did too, anything too impactful. Just a lot of over aggressiveness from the opponents and also just a little bit uh, lackluster on defense. That was a great shot though. Great, great placement. I'm trying to roll this off the cur curve. You can see they're very hungry for goals once again. So they're going to challenge things a little bit differently. Good save. Sorry for bumping Marsh, but should be all right. Both players go. Looks like Infinity might be able to follow this. So he does get a, a hard hit, but it goes right to us instead. And I, see how I have led this into mid. One of them has to challenge. Marsh is waiting patiently pretty far back. Uh oh. And there's the Brazil. I don't know if they're going to leave after that. They're, they're sticking around. I mean, they definitely like just a couple whiffs. Like he was low boost there, but there's a lot of time to double jump into that or or stay close. Woo! <laughs> Also, they're in good spirits. That's good. I'm going to try and pop this middle here. Got control. Yeah, not the greatest control from these two, but they didn't play horribly. Just a couple positions where they were over aggressive. And, you know, they were down a couple goals and they started to be even more aggressive than they were before. But either way, it was uh, a pretty good game. I think that Marsh played really, really well. He was just actually really, really solid. Ah, so Infinity Lord was champ one. So they're probably just friends having fun. It's all good. Okay, we did get three, so hopefully this is our rank up into champ two. We got Augrest and... Okay, interesting. I'm going to cheat up here. So I could go for back corner boost. Looks like Danger is going to try and go for it. So I'm going to then take the boost once he uh, goes off the ball. That's a good pop. I'm going to try and pop this middle here because there's nobody in mid ready for that pass. Great opportunity. Looks like A is going to hit this towards Augrest. I'm just going to let him take control. Get by my teammate. It's a good double touch. Looks like I have a chance to go for the ball. I definitely can play a lot faster and go on that ball immediately. Okay. Try to pop that over the one. Get control. Great follow up though. Algress makes a touch to disrupt the corner. Should be... Uh, I'm going to call him A. Got control across the net. Pop us off the corner. Take the boost. Great cut. I'm just trying to watch for my teammate to go for this. You should turn on this, but oops. Nice. One more, maybe. Great fall up across. Oh, wow. That lagged a little bit. I thought he was going to make a touch there. Usually people will cut that. Okay, it's around the backboard. We've got space. This guy's up, so I'll just hit it off the backboard. Danger's not ready for it. Doesn't make a touch, but one of my teammates should have this for sure. Cut this off immediately. I see that he's trying to pass that. Go for a shot and great save. Both my, all my teammates are pretty full boost, so I know that I can comfortably move into a good position on the side. My teammate does get demoed. Aug is ready for it. I'm going to try and wait in middle here. I'm up. Both players are up. I do beat them off the backboard. And Aug does wait on the ground because someone's already jumping, which is totally fine. But so far, my teammate's boost management has been great. Try and control this off the wall. Just trying to stay close to the ball. Try and pop over one and then maybe go for a bump here. Good chance. We have a lot of pressure just because we're constantly managing our boost, constantly watching. Nobody on our team is really like over, overly boosting, not playing too fast. We're just keeping pressure. My teammate should go for this. Great positioning. I'm going to push out for my teammate here. Hit this forward. I'm going to back off here. Great save. And my teammates are playing really well. I really like the, the rotations. Try and follow us for them. This could be dangerous, though, because both my teammates went for that. So if I got beat there, it would have been really, really bad. Now I'm also taking a look that both my teammates are full boost, so I can take that corner boost comfortably. It's a good chance for them. Uh, I can see the one player tried to go for a bump. 
Gonna pinch it off the corner. Good catch from them. Good control. Get behind my teammate. I got it here. Boom. I'll try to follow this up immediately. Hit this up the corner. And now what I'm gonna do here is actually go for the bump on this guy. Because he's trying to go for the ball. Oh. Nice shot. That was a great pass too. So I went for the bump after that touch off the corner because it makes him really uncomfortable. It makes a uh, unfortunate clear for them to go right to A and then uh, Augress was ready for it in mid. But honestly, everyone's playing pretty well in this. Everyone's kind of controlling the ball, playing uh, very patiently, finding each other on the field. Go for the right corner boost or right mid boost. Now I have space on the right side here. He does clear to the backboard, which nobody was there, so they do have to rush to it. They do miss. Great shot. So it was a decent opportunity and decent uh, decent decision to put off the backboard because A didn't get that back corner boost. We couldn't reach it. And then no one was ready for the follow-up. So what should have happened there is A was ready for the backboard clear. Danger should have moved into mid where the bounce of the ball was, just in case. Also, someone to follow up the ball, right? Oh. I'm going to wait here off the backboard. I do bump this guy, and it should be a roll into the net. And there we go. It's a pretty good second game. My teammates are playing really solid today. Both Marsh and these two have been great teammates. Okay, we got our same players, but I think A was another team. Uh, he was one who didn't get the, the clear, I think. I'm trying to grab this mid boost from them. A big pop should be one of them. Decent 50. Try and get a clear here. And that can boost up to this to make this guy really uncomfortable. Has to get some sort of touch really early, early. It's a pop across. Really good positioning from Jay. I got to pop it forward though. Good try. Pop this over the one guy. Oops. I'm on the side here. I could definitely beat that guy, but I'm gonna let him touch it. Let's go back to my teammate. Who is on the far side, so I'm gonna go for this again. It's a big clear. I'm waiting in mid. A's pretty low here though. Okay, this guy does get a touch, but I can control this. There's nobody near the ball here. Like, I, I could have boomed that, but there's definitely a good chance for me to bring that up the field, try to force a player in. It's also just good to, like, change it up, like I said, adding randomness to the play. Okay, I'm going to wait behind both players here. I'm trying to find my other teammate. A little bit rushed from A, but... Actually, they're both called... I'll call it Adel? I don't know. Adeller? I don't know how to say this guy's name. With patience and try and just keep this close in the corner here. They're just trying to force 50s, just stay close to the ball. Now they're kind of scared to 50 me because I'm like, I beat like two players or like just like balanced out my 50 50 with two players, and it causes them to waste a lot of boost. Okay, big clear. I am last man, though. I'm just gonna wait for Jay here. Actually, two players go for it. Nice base here. Oh, he changed his mind. He was ready for the pass, and then he backed off. I should have maybe went for the solo play. I could turn on that and cut that off. Let's just try and get a touch here safely into the corner. Two players are on it. And the third man's in an awkward spot. He's waiting back. Okay. It's a little dangerous, but I can try to catch this like by waiting for the bounce. See if my team wants to take it from me. Close. You see how I'm waiting for people to make the touches into me? Just being awkward, keeping the ball close. Great follow-up opportunity. I thought he was going to go for that touch. Oh, Jay was a little bit hesitant. So there was a really good play off the corner here from uh, A here on the corner. He, yeah, he like went for the bump play. And then someone just like didn't go for the ball there. But there's our first goal. I, I feel like I'm playing pretty closely matched to have how everyone else is playing. But I am keeping the ball pretty controlled. I haven't seen too much of that lately. Maybe pop out. I have space here on the ball. That could rush this into the into the corner, but I don't need to. No one's there. Now take control. It didn't go well that time, but there's definitely good opportunities to make some sort of play happen. Good try on the bump. Looks like he's trying to follow it, so I'm just going to wait. I am last man here. Wow, that worked out really well. It's the boost. Great chip. Jay's awkward, and it's top left. Are you kidding me? Wow. Hit this off the backboard. 
I probably could have played that a little more into the corner there. I see my teammate's already going to miss because the boost boost meter definitely helps that he's not going to be able to adjust and go to that ball. My teammate wants it. Doesn't look like he wants it. It's fine. He kind of made it seem like he was going for it and the last second he turned away, so I was ready for it just in case. That was good trust from him. Try and cut, the, cut off the control real quick. Oh. Decent touch. A's not going, though. Decent pop. I'm waiting in mid. See if they get a clear or some sort of 50-50. Now this ball is closer to me. Just trying to stay awkward. Keep the ball away from them. Nice. Going to bounce off the corner. Should be my teammate to go for this. He's half boost. Bit of a miss, but someone's ready for it. Perfect, perfect rotation. I hear my teammate going for it, so I'm just going to back off. I feel like that backward read is a little too fast. It's a great shot and great finish. Like that backward read, I definitely would have just went way faster at SSL level, but um, I feel like it was a little bit still too quick when I went for it. And it was really great that my teammate was ready for that bounce. It's something you should do is when someone's going up for the aerial and trying to get a read, like just covering any option that could go wrong. Because if I do get the touch and do get the clear, there's no there's no problem, right? So you can follow up the opposite uh, and like the no unintended uh, direction that the ball's going to go. I'm going to wait in mid here. Little top righties. And there's the finish. All right. So not a bad game. I play, My teammates played really well. This uh, A guy has been pretty good. A, and then the Adel guy also played really, really good rotations. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good game. Let's do one more. This should be our champ two, I believe. Let's see. There it is. So everyone here was champ one. Uh, we're in a champ two here. So hopefully we'll get some more champ two games for 3v3. Uh, but let's see what we get in the next one. All right. We do have twos. We've got ALR. J, ALRJ, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, we got Samu and Mini Branya. This ball's back in the mid. It's a little scary, but Samu didn't go for the shot. He should be there to take control. Teammate's going in front of me. Going for the 50. That's a great bump. I do adjust myself with the backflip instead. But now, oh, he's backwards. I'll take it from him. Okay, never mind. He wants it. A little awkward, but I should be able to get there. Good demo as well. Now I can take control here. I don't have a lot of boost to go for an aerial, so I'm just going to take control. And this guy's going to probably challenge pretty early, so I'm just going to pop this middle. Decent shot, but it could have definitely been stronger. Try to get the read. It's off the save. Hello. Decent control. So what I was doing there with that read is trying to watch the, uh, the ball uh, indicator on the ground. And then double jumping when I see it coming below, like coming on top of me and falling down towards my car. Branya does go up for it, but it's not really that dangerous for us. I don't even know how that guy did that. <laughs> okay. I have possession here. Looks like he's backing off. He's in back corner. I'm going to chip this around him with the dribble. Try and stay close. Try and bump him or something and then back out. Good try on the dribble. Good 50 as well. It's going to roll out here. Oh. Should be clear. Let's see if he can follow. I don't think he can, so I'm just going to get ready for the next touch. There we go. Looks like no one's really doing anything crazy with their dribbles or their air dribbles yet. So I'm just kind of making simple touches. Try and follow it up. Get a decent 50. My teammate should be rotating back. There we go. Let's see if he cuts this off for me. Looks like he's not going to. A little dangerous, because we definitely need a player covering that position. Good follow-up. Should be a finish. Nice. Good job. Good patience from him. It definitely worked out because Mini definitely uh, ro like rotated a little bit too early. Went for a shot that he shouldn't have, and then it bounced off the corner. And you got to be really careful. When it bounces off the backboard, it, it moves faster towards your net because it's already giving you your, your, your opponent's uh, possession and also uh, momentum on the ball. I'm waiting for the clear. I'm on the left side just in case. A decent try to keep control. A great follow from my teammate. Should be a, maybe a backboard. Let this guy touch it. You see, I know that they're already on the, like, the position to play that ball, so I'm just going to try and wait for them to make the touch instead. And it gives you possession for free. Because they have to make a touch, or else it's going to be a goal in their mind, so they have to hit the ball away, clear it somewhere. Is a great follow-up from him. Decent flip reset. I need to play ball there, because if I don't play ball, my teammate is going to be in way more trouble. 
And you also don't want to be played too patiently on those challenges because otherwise you put yourself and your teammate in the exact same position. This could be bad for us. A great finish. So what I should do there is clear that to the corner um, instead of off the backboard. Like right here, I can go under the ball and pop it to the other side, right? See how I like did that last second back off? Um, I definitely should be following it up to make the pop a lot higher and then uh, make it so it's a little... Uh, oh, can I get it? Nice save. I make it so it's a little more off the backboard hard, uh, not towards the middle. Good control. It's got to be my teammate here. He does miss, though. So we have 22 seconds to hopefully make a goal here. Otherwise, this will be our first loss in 2v2 in a while. It's great control from Samu, though. We can play off this 50. We got boost here. It's going to bump to him. It should be a pop forward. Off the backboard, see if they panic. Hopefully a shot. Nice shot. So I follow up his touch. He, he cleared it perfectly in a spot where I could follow it. I just get a doink over uh, Mini Branya, and he ends up uh, following it up off of the miss. Pretty good recovery for us. Get a good 50, see if we can follow it. I don't mind the, the cho uh, choice to stay with the ball on zero boost here, especially with like, not a lot of time. This guy pops it up. See what they do with this touch. Let's go off the backboard or off the ceiling. Gonna keep it up. Oh, we could have gotten a good opportunity there. That was a poor touch from them, but we weren't close enough. Can try. This guy does go for it. We can try and follow this up. He does get the boost. Now he's backing off. I have to get a clear here before he challenges me. Good try. Let's see what he does here. Great try on the flick. I'm trying to play patiently, trying to shadow. I'm trying to force him into a spot where he's uncomfortable. I'm going to try and fake the ball here and then try to pop this in middle. My teammate does go for it, though, but they're very awkward. Might be a towards target, see if they can get the save. Nice save. You definitely see us we're in Grand Champion now that these games are a lot faster. Go for a shot here off the backboard. See if my teammate can follow it. And great. Oh, great save. That's a great save. Nice space on this ball. It's a good challenge. It shouldn't be too scary. The only my teammate is controlled and doesn't panic. Because no one can really be prepared for that kind of 50 to come out that fast. It happens here. Okay, he's trying to follow it up. Go for pop on the backboard. Try to bump this guy if I can. Good try. I go for a shot again. Off the backboard. See if my teammate can get in there. Good try. Try and take the, the boost here. Should be a chance for my teammate to 50. It's not on target yet. Try and go for a pop. The other player does go for it, though. Teammate needs to be controlling that touch. He does give them a, a free clear. That guy just saved the ball at the last second. I'm going to try and take this boost from them. Do my teammate wants it? Does he want it? Nice. Good control. Go for a shot. See what Samu does. Pops it up. Should my teammate to go for this? Good try. Let's see he's trying to follow up the second touch. We save it to the corner. Just trying to play patiently. Good clear. See if my teammate can follow it. We get down the field. All good try. A little awkward. Try to make this awkward for them. You should be able to take this back to the back corner. That's great control. Oh boy. The one player does go for this. Nice follow up. This is the closest game I think we've had in the road to SSL so far. You try on the bumps. Let's let go of the ball though. It's towards target. Off the backboard. See if they can finish it. Hit this off the curve. Try and follow this up quickly. My teammate does need boost though. I'll grab this corner boost. They're going to be pretty low. Holy boom. Okay. Be a little careful with this touch. And pop it up. Okay. Should be them to shoot. Good bump. Good demo. I'm trying to stay patient here. He doesn't have an angle on the ball yet. So I have to be careful he doesn't get around the ball like that. It's a good challenge from them. Shoot my teammate off the backboard. 
So both of the opponents are pretty aggressive right now. We gotta be a little bit careful. Be patience. To bump this guy. I got this back corner boost. Should be my teammate to follow this, hopefully. He's very low. He's kind of panicking a little bit. Pop this forward. He's, he needs boost still, so I'm trying to cover this for him. Decent clear. My teammate should have boost by now. Good turn. Great double. So be them first. I'm just trying to wait for them. I'm trying to wait for them here. It's fine. Should be my teammate again. They were just baiting in touches. Pop this up nice and high again. See if my teammate can go for this. Should be the finish. Nice job. Six and a half minute overtime. Quite a crazy final game, but really great play from all players in here. Very, very fast paced game. A lot of back and forth. A lot of opportunities for everybody. Great saves back and forth. There's one pinch that was crazy on the orange team, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a good one. Everybody uh, played really well. No complaints with all my teammates. I think that was a really, really good set of games. So we're still Grand Champ 1, but we're Division 2 now, and we're Grand, uh, we're Champ 2, Division 1, and, and, two, and 3v3. So not too much of movement in this episode, but either way, it was a great episode. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, it's time to make the meme of the day. We have Petals today, and I thought a great idea would be to have two pictures of Rettles. One where he's breaking, and the other one where he's going, and it's nice and smooth. Uh, so let's start with, I guess, getting these faces separated. I probably just want that much, I think. We just turn him around. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to try to smoothen that out. Let's see if I can like maybe reduce the opacity so I can get just his face on the pedal. Something like that should work. And we'll just erase as we go. We'll probably stretch his face to fit the rest of it. Uh, okay. This is not going to work very well, but we're going to give it our best shot. What am I creating? <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can maybe like liquefy this or something. Pull this down a little bit. Okay. And we can erase. <laughs> should I put a boot? Maybe I should just put a boot. <laughs> Maybe I should just put a boot trying to step on his face. I've changed my mind. All right, I have a picture of a boot here. Let's see if we can maybe position it in a way that it fits. Okay. Just grab the whole boot first. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I feel like maybe I can make this a little smaller. And then I don't know if I can make it move up really much, but I think we'll just go like that. And then we'll just can't forget Rattle's face. We'll just do something like this. <laughs> okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let me try to remove some of the blue in Rettle's face first. All right. Color mixer. Let's get rid of the blues. And then let's go into... Maybe I should just do that. Maybe a bit of color comes back. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Hope you guys enjoyed the making of that one.